Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do a comparison with Roblox stock and Snap stock and answer which one of these two is the better growth stock to buy. I want to thank Doug for requesting this video here. If you've got any videos you would like me to do, go ahead and put the request in the comments down below. But let's jump into this one. So starting with comparing these two on revenue growth, I'll move on to profit margins and I'll end with valuation. So looking at their revenue growth, one thing jumps out is they've both been experiencing decelerating revenue growth. They were high flying growth stocks in 2021, revenue exploding over 100% in a quarter. But now Snap experienced two consecutive quarters of negative revenue and Roblox is more modest in their revenue growth, although it is better than Snap at 15.15% compared to negative 3.89% for Snap in the most recent quarter. Now, with these two stocks, these are what I like to consider high potential stocks, meaning they're addressing their market opportunity is massive. Snap is operating in the advertising industry, which is projected to exceed 900 billion in spending this year. Roblox is the metaverse pioneer and according to McKinsey, the metaverse is going to generate five trillion dollars in revenue in 20 by 2030. So these are big opportunity stocks even though right now they're not profitable. So you're looking at these companies as big potential but in the near term you got to deal with these losses on the bottom line. So let's look at those. The operating profit margin is the next metric I'm going to look at. And Snap has done a good job improving its operating profitability over the years, improving to negative 33%. Meanwhile, Roblox hasn't made much progress in this regard, going backwards, and it's at negative 49.56%. I often say I don't mind growth companies with big potential to operate at losses on the bottom line. But I want to see improvement. I want to see that path to profitability. I want to see progress. I want to see demonstration that there is economies and scale in the business so that when they do reach those higher levels of revenue, that profit margins will be solid. Snap is demonstrating that. Roblox is not demonstrating that. However, I will make a case for Roblox here because of the conservative revenue recognition of the business. What do I mean by conservative? Well, when folks deposit money on Roblox, the company doesn't recognize that as revenue right away. So if your kid or you know your teenager deposits $100 on Roblox, Roblox won't recognize 100 as revenue. It will rate that over 24 months. So it'll take 1 24th of that as revenue, something like $3 or $4 it'll take as revenue in the first month. And it'll take $4 every month for the next 24 months. So in my opinion, that's a conservative revenue recognition policy. And it hurts Roblox's profit metrics, profit margins, revenue, all of those because it rates it slowly over time. And so for that reason, I'm willing to give Roblox a little bit of a pass in terms of looking at operating profit margin. More importantly, what I like to look at for Roblox is cash flow from operations because it can recognize that money that comes in as cash flow from operations. While it slowly recognizes it as revenue, it immediately recognizes the cash flow that comes in. And according to this metric, Roblox is positive at 15.97%, although it has been trending downward. Snap is also positive in this metric at 5.58, and it's also been trending upwards, right? It's making progress, it's improving its cash flow from operations to sales. So when I have this case of positive cash flow and negative profit margins, that's usually evidence that these companies tech companies especially are using a great deal of stock based compensation to make up the difference. And so I'm going to look at dilute dilution in the next slide here. And looking at this metric, Roblox has increased its number of shares outstanding from about 500 million to 612 million over the last three years. Meanwhile, Snapchat has increased its 
number of shares outstanding from around 1.3 billion to 1.6 billion. So each of these companies is using a lot of stock-based compensation and that dilutes shareholders. And why that's bad news is because if or when these companies eventually become profitable, those profits will need to be split among more shares, leaving less earnings per share. So you'd like to see all else being equal, lower shareholder dilution from companies like um, Snap and Roblox. Finally, I wanted to look at valuation and I chose to use the forward price to sales. I could have used price to free cash flow, but the numbers are so high there. I feel like it's not very informative. I feel I felt that looking at forward price to sales for these two companies is a more informative metric. And looking at this metric, Roblox is more expensive at 4.419 compared to Snap at 3.297. So Roblox is about 20 to 30 percent more expensive than Snap, judging by the forward price to sales metric, which slightly hurts Roblox compared to Snap if we were because Roblox is generating significantly higher free cash flow or cash flow from operations to sales compared to Snap. And also looking at operating profit margin, Snap is doing better than Roblox. So mixed results here from these two companies. And the deciding factor for me is the potential, the upside. And looking at the potential upside of the metaverse industry, I'm going to say if I had to choose between these two growth stocks, I so would pick Roblox because of that massive potential of the metaverse industry, because the daily active users on Roblox spend a lot more time on the Roblox platform compared to the amount of time Snapchat users spend on the Snap platform. And longer term, there is even more potential for Roblox to increase engagement, where for Snap, I don't see very much potential in increasing time on the platform. So for all those reasons, if I was to pick one of these two, it would be Roblox. Once again, thank you so much for the request, Doug. If you've got any videos you would like me to do, please comment down below with your request. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.